Hey, all, so we're back at the marina. The owner wanted to toss in two ounces of gold. And I said, no freaking way. I'll explain that all in just a moment here on the Danger Zone. If I had theme music, this is where the theme music would come up. Okay, so uh, first of all, why no gold? The way it works here is different than it works anywhere else I've ever played this. I knock the valuable stuff off. Fine. But unless I can also knock down all three towers, I have to pay the owner what came off. He only has to pay me if I knock down all three towers. Now, I can't, you know, looking at, it, it's expensive enough. I'm looking at um, 2,000 on the top of each tower. And in the back there, there's 300 on top of each of the mystery bags, um, which may have more money in them. Or maybe it's snuck in some gold, I don't know. Anyway, the rule is, if I'm losing, I don't have to open the mystery bags. I don't have to make it worse for myself. Now, I'm pretty well supplied. Three towers. One. Two. Three. And, uh, of course, if I could bring the coin tower... Down, I'll, I'll have plenty of, of uh, plenty of quarters for plenty of ammo, as you guys like to say. But uh, um, you know, everybody thinks that. Everybody thinks that until the tower won't come down. So uh, as for time. Um, I have till I run out of quarters. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, if a, if a chip comes down, I don't know if I owe it to him or he owes it to me. And let's see, last time I won uh, 3500 Not bad. But time before, I lost 850 So uh, I'm ahead right now, but who knows what will happen. Presumably... Each time I come back, he makes it that much harder. Um, so, here are the three Towers of Terror, I'm going to call them. And uh, let me get him to turn the machine on. Hold on, he does this every time. Could you... Yeah, yeah, Could it's time... Okay, you can see in the back there, machine's moving. And it's time to uh, start dropping in quarters. My goal today, all of the things to one side, is to film this without getting my arms on camera. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Apparently, though, since uh, gambling with coin pushers is illegal in New York, there's something about us not knowing who wins that sidesteps the law. But he still doesn't want me to tell, me where, tell him anybody where the place is. My wife did come this time. She's upstairs with her friends. See, uh, last time we... Uh, Split the oh, there go my arms already. Last time we split, um, split it, and I took half in cash and half in a tab to eat at the restaurant, which is not a bad idea. We eat here a lot anyway. Um, but I'm pretty that means it was like 1750 on a tab, 
Well, if my wife has a friend, she didn't invite them. Or let me put that another way. My wife invited every friend she has. And there's a good chance some people she barely knows or doesn't even like. Once she heard $1,750 tab, she like set herself the goal of like wiping it out in one night. Let me pause a second. When I get annoyed, I start uh, playing too fast. Well, nothing's happening, so I'm not playing too fast. Just let me time it. Got to time it right. Well, you know, the first job is always get enough quarters in there to fill up the backfield since he never put... Well, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to wind up with another Tower of Despair like last time. Um, I'm, and it's bad enough with these Towers of Terror. Oh, and there's... Yeah, there was a bunch of... On top of the bags, you may have already spotted, I forgot to mention, each bag has $300 on top of it. So it doesn't matter what's in them. It just matters what's on top of them. And all of that is... Ugh, all of that is coming off. Dropped a quarter, not going to pick it up right now. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm starting to get real, you know, I don't normally get tense at these things, but, you know, I'm looking around, I could, I could owe oh, 10, this guy, what, five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000, maybe not 10000 but certainly a whole lot of money. If I can't knock the towers down, or I run out of quarters, or, well, if I run out of quarters, I can't knock the towers down. And yes, it's all three. Yes, there are no exceptions. Now, at any point, I could just, you know, walk away, and nobody won anything, or lost anything, but then... If I wanted to do that, I could have just stayed home. You know, maybe I'll just go through, go through and cut out whenever my hands came through. Why do you have to look at that? I mean, you already know I have hands. The middle one moved. It would be nice. I'm not even through the first uh, pack of quarters. It'd be nice if I could get a tower down before I even get through one cup. Then there really would be like one cup for each uh, tower. But, the, uh, you know, that's why... Oh, in, in case it wasn't clear. That's why I didn't want to put the gold in. Because if I don't bring the towers down, that's like almost $2,000 for each piece of gold. And if I got the gold off, I'd owe it to him if I didn't knock down the towers. Um, my wife said, uh, can't you uh, find a uh, less pricey game to play? I mean, do you really want our kids' future riding on whether or not you can knock down some towers? And I said, yes, honey, that's what I want. I want our whole kids' future I want our whole, our whole kids' future 
riding on uh, whether I can knock down towers. So I'm going to spend all the money we have. And he'll have to go out and get a job. No, as I've talked about before, my son's autistic. And, uh, um, he's finally getting some benefits and he's out of school, um, which, uh, I'm sorry, since, uh, I had to lay out, like, uh, $150,000 a year for his school. Um, uh, I don't have much sympathy for those of you with paying college tuition or anything like that because it, it, college tuition is high. I'll grant you. It's very high. Um, and it seems some sort of like social trap. But it's nothing, you know, it's not as high. I mean, it started at $90,000 and my son from, was there from when he was three to when he was 21. Um, and uh, 90,000 to start. His last year was 170,000. Now we do get a chunk of that back from the city. Although we have to fight them in like a, a court equivalent every single year. Although they settled a lot of years. Oh, that's two two towers moving. And let's see. Well, these are the last two um, quarters that were in the uh, cup. And so far, I've gotten back one really beat up quarter and basically I have four quarters that have come out. I like to I don't like to move on from uh, one cup to the next until I've used up all the... Let's see if this quarter is old or something. Or just... Uh, well, if anybody knows if this quarter is worth a lot of money, let me know. I don't think so. It's a state quarter. It can't be that old. But then there are some state quarters people are looking for, even in uh, beat up condition. So any of your coin collectors out there, let me know. You know what? I'm gonna use the one that was on the floor instead. And put that aside, see if it's collectible or something. Okay, one. Count with me, why not? Two. Three, four. Oh, look, I put in four quarters. I got one back. Okay, in it goes. Okay, that's it for uh, cup number one. It looks so doable. But they always make it look doable, don't they? Or he always makes it look like it's doable. Because if, you know, if it didn't look like it was doable, I wouldn't even agree to this crazy scheme. Okay, now it's reached the point where if I cut off everything with my arms in it, we'd have no show. So, uh... I'll try and take out what I can. Um, I'd love to just drop in a whole bunch of quarters, but his machine's not set up for that. He just, uh, 
This has slots. I suppose I can put them in faster. But uh, if I do that, especially in the middle one, it just clogs up and then he has to come fix it and slows the whole game down. You know, that's the thing about being tense while you're playing. I mean, part of you... Of course I want to win. I mean, I'm obviously... And I certainly don't want to lose this much money. I certainly don't want to lose this much money, but... Part of you just wants it to be over. You know, it's like... Did I get the job or not? And then you reach the point where you're saying... Um, I just can't stand the suspense anymore. Let, let it be a no so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's kind of same with this. But uh, really, if you see any jump cuts, I'm just pulling my arm out of the, out of the movie, or whatever you call this, out of the video. <sighs> So my mother's 93, and I was with her and a friend, and uh, I, couldn't rem I couldn't remember a word. I'm 61. But my mother came up with it in a minute. And... Uh, Um, more movement, that's good. And I looked at her friend and I said, uh, well, you have to understand, I'm 61. I'm not old, I'm old, unlike my mother. Yeah. Now, it's, it's kind of, you know, maybe I'll throw a picture of her up. My mother is 93 years old. No wrinkles. No wrinkles. Not a, a couple of gray hairs maybe, but no, and she doesn't, and before you ask, no, she does not dye her hair. She considers that beneath her. Um, and in fact, she said, sometimes I think I don't get the respect I'm due at 93. And yeah, you heard, saw me hurl that one. Um, because I don't have the white hair. And I said, well, Mom, you could always go in and have your hair dyed white. And she said, no, that's beneath me too. It's like, okay. So everyone out of there, out there who dyes their hair, ooh, something came down. Um, I got to check this out. Um, yeah, you can come along for this one. I'll, I'll cut you out of, if they start to get boring, I'll, uh, cut about, this one's exciting. Okay, I got a hundred. Let's see. Um, I got another hundred, but it's mostly chips. Okay. Now, just to be clear, that doesn't count as knocking down that tower. I just knocked down a piece of it. And the rest is still there. Now, it looks a little shaky. But, uh, no. It's not down yet. So I got, so far I have $200, I, well let me put this away, so far I have $200 chips, and I have no idea, I have no idea whether 
I win it or the owner wins it. Which is just, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's hard on the, uh, it's, let's just say it's hard on the spleen. Um, but here I go. So anyway, I was saying, so if anybody out there dyes your hair, my mother thinks it's beneath you. She doesn't necessarily think less of you. Ah, there's my arm again. He doesn't necessarily think less of you. But in fact, she thinks more of you. She thinks it's beneath you to uh, color your hair. And I don't know what, you know, I'm, why am I saying this? I don't know why my mother thinks that. So let's see if I can get these to fall properly this time. Yes, that one. Nope, not that one. I, whoop, I got lucky. The way this machine is set up, you put in a quarter and you have no idea where it falls out the other end. That's one of the challenges here. Now, it can't be that hard to keep your arm out of the frame. But somehow I haven't mastered the trick yet. Okay, for those of you keeping tra keeping track at home, oh, that's that's two of them down. That was just some chips. It's nothing to dive into the loot chute for. But I may actually. Uh... Yes. Okay, that's one down. One down. Now let me uh, quickly clear out the loot chute, even though. Oh, I see. It's clogging up. Okay, I'm not going to make you sit through this one. Hold on. Okay, that was uh, all chips. Except for these quarters, which go back in cup number two. Um, you know, in, in, in one sense, it's, it's only 200 off so far. And there's a lot more out there. But uh, on the other hand... Um, I don't have a shot at winning as much. I just hope that those chips piled up there. Well, there's a problem. If I cleared that whole path, if this, if this whole path here were cleared up, then the quarters would just come straight out the center and wouldn't knock down the, the uh, towers on the side, which is now my main objective. Because if I knock down the towers first, then I can just... Uh, Spend as much time as I want knocking off value. So, uh, um, everybody wish me luck. Barbara, I know you always do. Oh, and let me, let me remind you guys that we won't always be at the marina But we'll uh, always be doing towers on Mondays. It doesn't mean we won't do towers other days as part of other setups. But I guarantee a tower every Monday. Now, I'd like to sort of take a vote. You can, you know, leave me a comment or just put it in the chat. Just more chips. 
um, about whether I should uh, make the towers fall in slow motion or not. Um, I know a lot of the other channels channels do, and it's kind of cool. But I don't know whether people like it enough for me to do it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you with me through this one. I got off another hundred, so that's three hundred, either mine or his. I don't know yet. And what's this? Nope. Chip. 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 What's this? Chip. And... Oh, another hundred. That's four hundred now. And another, another hundred. That's five hundred now. So I'm either going to win five hundred... Or I'm going to lose 500. We don't know yet. And two more chips came down all on their own. But one of the chips is from this tower. They're made out of slightly different chips, so you can tell. And that's a good sign, because I want this tower to come down. And, of course, I'd love the quarter tower to come down, too. I'll take, frankly, I'll take any tower you get. I mean, any tower I get. I'm not, you know, a tower snob. I don't only want one kind of tower. Um, so we're having my son's art teacher and her uh, kids over. I say kids, they're in their, you know, they're in their drum with, if they're not 30, they're getting, they're climbing toward 30. Um, but I'm 61, so they're kids. Okay, a chip and maybe a bag. You know, I'm beginning to think if I cut all my hands off of this video, it'll only be two minutes long. But uh, I'll, I'll do my best. Because uh, I want you guys to enjoy these. And this just chips. And this is coin pushing, not close-ups of John's hand. Close up, you know what? I'm going to do another whole other channel called Close-Ups of John's Hand. And then maybe coin pushing will interrupt. Oh, I just wanted to shout out to Wendy. Um who uh, commissioned an art piece from my uh, son, which I'll put up. And it's now hanging in her home. Um, um, it's a great looking piece. And I suggest when I put it up that if you happen to have 3D glasses around, I'm not the red and blue kind. The, I think the movie kind. Or if you feel like stealing some the next time you see a 3D movie. Um, you can go back and take a look at it. I don't know if the 3D effect will work on, uh, on screen. See, that's just exactly what I don't want to happen. I don't want the mid-road clear, cleared out, so I'm going to just stick to the left and the right. Okay, i got to do another cleanup. Hold on. Okay, guys. I got another 100, which brings the total to 600. Well, the rest was mostly chips, but... Here's where cup number two was before I cleaned out. And
Here it is after I cleaned out, so that's pretty good. I also got two bags. Now this time I'm playing it smart, and I'm not opening the bags until I find out if I win or lose. Because if I win, I'm gonna want everything. And if uh, I lose, I don't wanna know what's in the bags because I'll have to pay, then have to pay it to him. But uh, question now is, can I actually knock either of these other towers off? Or just knock them down? You know, I'd settle for just knocking them down. Well, at least I'm getting some more quarters back. And there's my arm again. Those are just quarters, but they're good to have, but they're just quarters. You know, you know I, don't, I don't mind. If I'm taking them out of a cup, you can see that. You're all adults here. You can see me take something out of a cup. Um, at least with the buy-in, you know that... Uh, with the buy-in, you know that every piece of thing you win chips away at the buy-in. Not that it'll have the chance of making things worse. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have, start having to time these a little better. I mean, it means putting the quarters in slower. Um... You know, I'm going to have to start, I know I keep saying this, but I'm going to have to start doing lives. Because it's clear I need advice. No. In now. Okay. No. Now. Because uh, game always looks so much easier when it. I gotta tell you, it's a lot easier when Josh or G J Will is uh, playing it, and I'm just watching, and it's all their money. Not that I don't have sympathies for Josh when he loses, or don't congratulate J Win when he wins. Jay Will, rather. Although I'm certain if he, he changed his name to Jay Wynn, because he went one so often, he'd be happy. Um, but uh, Josh puts on a great show. Jay Will is right there behind him. And I'm just trying to... Uh, I was going to say sneak in the back door, but that's not right. Josh told me to do it. And if one thing I've learned in life is just do whatever Josh tells me. But no, I think this is great fun. That's why I do it. And as I said, I, I think this is great fun. I stuck my hand in front of the screen. Let me tell you, that part isn't great fun. It just makes me feel like I don't know what I'm doing. This may be in part because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, any case, time for another clean out. Um, I think you can watch this one. Like I said, we're all adults here. You can watch a clean out. All chips. And just chip, chip. And quarters. And chip. And...
Not bad. I still have uh, a whole other cup of chips. So there, there's a. Uh, I have time to succeed, and I have time to fail. So let's keep hammering at this and see what happens. See, this, uh, this is why I'm not really going after the coin tower right away. Because I'm getting enough quarters back that it can wait for last. I'm just wondering, hold on, let me take a peek here. You can come with me. No, but it's not that the quarters are vanishing into the dealer's, uh, into the dealer's slot, um, because, uh, Thank goodness, a bag and a, uh, what's the other thing? Yeah, a bag and a chip have the, uh, um, stealers. I'm going to call them stealers sl uh, slots. The, the stealers slot is not stealing my quarters. So, I have to be whittling away at it a little at a time, don't I? Tell me, tell me I'm doing the right thing. Just say, uh, in the chat there, just say, John, you're doing the right thing. No matter how this turns out, you did the right thing. What was that? Okay, I'm going to do a clean out because I got some value off. So, I'm still keeping up with the quarters without having to go to um, box three, to a uh, bottle, eh, to cup three. I got another hundred, I think that's seven hundred. And I got uh, two five hundred, so either yay me or wow, that's horrible. I don't know what to say. Um, well, seven hundred... 1700 it's not thousands yet. Ha! Maybe what I'll do is before my wife gets the check. Here, the tab is 1750. And I'm sure my wife said she was taking all her uh, friends out to dinner. Um Maybe what I'll do is if I lose I'll have him cancel the tab. Take the 750, 1750 off, and uh, my wife will be stuck with the bill, which will do me absolutely no good because it's not like we have separate finances. She thinks just because she's gorgeous, she can have everything she wants. And you know what? She's right. She's also loving and sweet and caring and hardworking. And up, oh, two more hundreds came down. I'm not going to chase them right now because I'm just not in the mood for bad news. If I look. Can anyone tell if the... Uh, One with the chips is moving, is moving at all? Because that was my target. Maybe if I just build up enough quarters fast enough, maybe I should go after this. I don't know. Um, so I'm also working on finishing up a project of building a vacation house that is set up for families with autistic children. Okay, two, I can't hide from it forever. Two more, oh, a hundred and a five hundred, even better. 
600 more. And what and another bag and a hundred more. See I need to find a place that just does straightforward buy-ins, but they're illegal in New York, so I wind up playing for candy or finding some place that just happens to have an old coin pusher. Oh, this wasn't bad. They just happens to have an old coin pusher. And uh, talking them into letting me play. I would really like, you know, to have uh, the setup Josh has. But, ooh, a chip just came off the tower I'm trying to knock down. That is always a good sign, and with a bottom chip, too. You see, it's exactly what I said. Once I cleared off the middle, the quarters just keep coming right down the middle because they'll go where the least resistance is. But uh, at least that means I get them back. So, uh, Ooh, that was a big fall. Oh, that knocked all the all the chips off the center, which I don't think makes it better, but we'll see. Okay, it's getting kind of late here. I mean, I'm pretty certain he's not going to want to open the place, keep the place open till midnight, just so I can keep playing quarter in, quarter out forever. Um, I mean, I am doing this on a Saturday night. So he's open pretty late. Well, I came pretty late, so I don't know what he's going to want to do. Um, now, sometimes he'll, uh, you know, I, there's lots of things I could propose. I could say I keep it this, like I did last time. I could say keep it the same. I'll come back. Um, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get the middle. So clogged up with quarters that the others will have no choice No, they just come off as I put them on so I need to keep going on this one that was working I think um I can either ask him to come back another time and he'll keep it all set up exactly the same. I can ask to work, I can ask to keep playing through closing time. Um, you know what, my son has a strategy at the coin pusher at the laundromat which is just to fill up one side completely then fill up the middle Oops. and fill up the middle
Um, and uh, Okay, he wants to talk to me. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I'm back. He tried to give me uh, just uh, 10 more minutes to play. And I said, hey, wait a minute. If you want to make time to play part of the rules, that's fine. But you didn't. And he said, no, no, no. I just mean I want to give you 10 more minutes to play tonight. Because I promised uh, I'm the only one who can watch this. I'm leaving early. I gotta get home. The grandkids are coming over tomorrow morning. Um, my wife wants me awake to actually, meet, you know, see them. I kind of want to see them. I don't tell my, you know, he, he said, please don't tell my wife I want to see them. I, I, it's much better if she thinks I'm doing her a favor. But uh, who doesn't want to see their grandkids? Um, anyway. Um. Um. So. We're going to go for 10 more minutes max, and then he'll let me uh, come back and play the other another day. He let me stay longer last time because he was staying longer, but he doesn't trust anybody else to watch me except him um, because he, uh, he's gotten to know me too well. He thinks I'll just, you know, bang on it until it all falls down and say, oops. But, uh, um, okay, 10 more minutes. Ten more minutes, and then we'll uh, um, have to uh, um, um, call this a part one. Um, and uh, I don't like it any more than you do. But uh, that's what's going to be. I'm not going to walk away from all that money. This comp time ran out. So uh, um, let me clean out all the quarters. Because I gotta say, at the very least, in a not in a game that's not timed, I should be allowed to play till I run out of quarters. And I, as I keep saying, I haven't even gotten to the third cup yet. So uh, here we go. Okay. Maybe I should try just shooting for the coin tower. Why not? Okay. Coin tower, coin tower, coin tower. Coin tower. Coin tower. Another chip. Coin tower. Coin tower. Coin tower. Coin tower. Coin tower. One chip, bunch of quarters. That's all. Sorry, had to make a runs for the men's room. Okay. Coin tower. Coin tower. Coin tower.
Okay. Now, I don't care who you are, that's down. That is down. Of course, I go after the coin tower and the chip tower falls down, but I'm not complaining. Maybe I should have been going for the chip, the coin tower the whole time and the chip tower would have fallen down, but now it's just a matter of getting the coin tower down and that should be pretty easy. Oh, why do I jinx myself like that? It should be somewhat easy. Let me rephrase it. It might work this time because with all those chips, at least for now, blocking up the uh, center pathway. Um, hold on, he wants to talk to me again. Okay, he said... He saw what happened. Um, he can give me another, you know, 10 minutes, but then he's gonna have to have me come back another day. And uh, that seems fair. I mean, he says, uh, all in all, it's easier on him if I don't have to come, if he doesn't have to see my, you know, people get tired of me really fast. This um, YouTube channel thing may not be the best choice for me. Um, And so, of course, the, uh, now I have to waste even more of his time because I have to waste even more time because I have to call him over because the shoot is blocked, not the, uh, not the loot shoot, but the, uh, um, the coin dropping shoot is clogged or something. Uh, he's got to fix it. Hold on. Well, surprise, surprise, just as I'm winning, he can't fix it. So, uh, um, he gave me a choice to keep playing for a while and uh, see if it just loosens up on its own. Um, I'm going to clear out while I make a decision. And you know, this quarter's leaking out the bottom. I got another bag, by the way. I'm cleaning out while I'm talking to you. Um, Just chips. So, uh, I figure look, I, I joke around, but I don't think he's doing this on purpose. I'm certainly not doing it on purpose. I don't even like being on my feet. I told him I want him to uh, buy a chair that's just the right height for me to play this game. Okay, cleaning out quarters. Well, I got a bunch of quarters back. My, you know what? I'm going to use up this cup. Or I'm going to put it through one more cycle. And we'll see what happens. Um, I really don't want to try and go to sleep tonight wondering if I owe him thousands. And the, the middle is clogged up. So I'm just going to try for the... Uh, play the middle till time runs out. And then he'll let me come back tomorrow. He came over and uh, poked at it, and it, 
it's not just uh, clogged in the quarter chute, it's clog clogged somewhere inside, so it's a little complicated. But, it might, who knows, it might be enough. And I said to him, he, oh, rather he said to me, well, if I can't fix it without bringing the whole thing down, then uh, it's just, uh, you know, no harm, no foul, we, no, nobody gets paid anything. And I said, hey, wait a minute. It's not my fault your machine broke. It's uh, certainly not, um, you know, you certainly can't blame me for winning. So, uh, tell you what. If I can't get the thing to come down and you can't fix it without knocking it down, Um, then I win, but only half, and half of that goes on a tab. And he said, he said that sounded fair, but let's see if I can make that unnecessary by knocking this tower down, shall we? Okay, let me do one last clean out. And you guys can watch. Chips. Chips. Chip. 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 Chip, chip. Chip. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, chip. Okay, bunch of chips. And as usual, a bunch of quarters. Okay. Okay, guys, so all eyes on the chip tower. Only thing left worth getting. Oh, and he agreed that I got the, uh, I mean, the coin tower. Well, what did I say? Did I say coin tower? I don't know. Really, I think playing this game rots my brain until I stop, and then, I don't know. Maybe it stops hurting my brain then, maybe... The brain rot just, you know, comes in and uh, nothing we can do about it. Okay. Okay. 
I've decided I'm going to do 10 more quarters. You want to count along with me? One. Two. Three. By reflex, I keep putting it in the right sl slot and it keeps getting stuck. Okay, in the middle slot is three or four. Let's go with three. Three. So this is four. It's not like I only have the right amount left. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Last one, guys. I'm blowing on it for luck. I didn't say it was good luck. Hold on. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, that was some of it. I gotta keep going, I can't stop now. I don't suppose he, no, he wouldn't, he wouldn't glue the quarters together, would he? Gosh darn it, I'm going to get everything. Please don't report me for saying gosh darn it on YouTube. I'm doing a clean out. Um, well, you know, I said uh, a few episodes back of... Uh, the show, I said, uh, that my new catchphrase would be, 
Wow, that hurts. I gotta say, wow, this hurts. So close. And it's like the endless supply of quarters is just rubbing it in my face. Plus a clogged, you know, plus the slot clogged up. Look, chips, lots and lots of chips. Okay, quarters coming up. It's like, you know, the natural state of a coin pusher before they started getting all fancy was just quarters in, quarters out. And uh, sometimes I feel like all the uh, fancy quarter pushers like have a dream of going back to those days. This is a lot of quarters, but so far a lot of quarters hasn't helped me at all. So, I want to say I only need 10 more, or I, I'll only do 10 more, but we all know I'm lying, right? Now I'm going to wait for it to come back out, and then drop it. Wait for it to come back. See what happens. Nothing. I keep, I feel like an idiot. I keep putting quarters in the right hand slot by reflex. Yes! Oh my gosh. You know, the way life is, sometimes you quit too soon. Hey, I won. Sometimes you quit too soon. Sometimes you don't quit soon enough. And sometimes you don't quit. And it pays off. Now, question is, Ooh, I just got one more 500 out of the, uh, shoot, but it's mine. Now it's mine. Now I can cheer up. Now, there's actually still a lot of money in there. Where'd this come from? Eh, I'll keep it. I was probably holding up the coin tower. I'm not even doing anything. I got another 500. Hey, hey, hey. The base going to try and talk me into a... Putting it on a tab. 
You know what? They have good food here. I wouldn't mind putting some of it on a tab. And there goes more. I'm going to get to get a bigger... Hold on, I'll be right back. I have to go back to my car. Okay, I'm back. I had to get a bigger container for quarters. For obvious reasons. Might as well, uh... Okay, so. Okay, now I know he needs to go. So, uh, let me, uh, talk to him about what we do the rest of the stuff on here. Okay, he really has to go. So he's offered me a deal. There are... 2000 3000 there's about $3000 in a bag left in the in the field. Um, he said here's what we'll do. He'll split it that way with me. Split that with me so we start with stuff I start I get 1500 fine. Um, also he doesn't want me to take the time to open up the bags but he showed me The bags have $150 each. So that's uh, $1,200. So that's uh, $2,700. Let's see. Um, let's start. $27. Well, let's see. $27 from inside there. That's, we'll just put that to one side. Um, and I'm just splitting up the 500s and the 100s to make it easier to count. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty happy right now. Okay, here we go. Ready? Five hundred. A thousand. Fifteen hundred. Two thousand. Twenty five hundred. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four hundred, plus the twenty-seven hundred is uh, sixty-one hundred. Not bad. Um, oh, and then the uh, seven hundred and fifty. No, uh, the six hundred. In the bags I got off. So, um, that's, uh, um, wait a minute. That's 6,100 plus 600, that's, um, plus 600 is 6,700. Um, so, uh, here he comes ready to deal. <coughs> Sorry. Wish me luck. Okay, so 
This is interesting. He's offering me those two pieces of gold. These two ounces of gold. Yeah, one ounce. Um. Um. To uh, cover the whole thing. Now, sounds like a lot, but two ounces of gold is only only about half of what I want. Um, also, I said, where'd you get this? And he said, I want it in a poker game. And he said, and I, well, I said, uh, so how do I know it's real? And he said, look, get it, get it tested. If it's not real, I'll give you the cash. That sounds fine. Um, and uh, I've, never, you know, I've never won gold before. It's kind of fun. Um, also, gold, you know, gold prices are going up. I could just keep this as an investment. I don't have to cash it in right now. But I did say to him, um, what about the, uh, you know, this is 3000 or maybe a little more. Um, what, uh, what about the rest of my money? And he said, well, that would be 3700 He said, I'll give you, let's do what we did the last time. I'll give you 3350 in cash, and the other 3350 will go in your tab. And I said, uh, that's a deal as long as you don't tell my wife on the way out. Because uh, right now she thinks he has a budget of seventeen fifty. Um, I don't want her to. Uh, I don't want her to think she has another uh, thirty three hundred. And uh, he said, "Okay, so basically, I got two ounces of gold, which is worth oh more like uh, hey, he should have checked. It's worth more like thirty two hundred." Um, and, uh, I got, uh, um, 3,350 in cash, so that's like 36, 3,700, plus we now have a huge tab here, um, um, but, you know, it starts to make me wonder, does he know something I, d I don't know? Can he run up a tab as long as he wants because he's closing in a month? But that's just me being suspicious. Anyway, those of you who uh, stuck with me this long, thank you. Could you please uh, like and subscribe? I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. Um, so anyone who hasn't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Anyone who ha has subscribed, get someone else subscribed. You probably have a family. Algorithm doesn't care. Get them all to subscribe individually. Um, and uh, that's it. I can't believe I spent an hour and 20 minutes on my feet. That's the longest I've stood up in, uh, you know, in probably a decade. Um, at least I wasn't moving. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Hi, John here. As, uh, as I kind of predicted, I screwed up the math completely. Um, the reality is he still owed me 3700 after the gold, after the gold, um, which turned out to be real, by the way. So that means I got like 1850 in cash and 1850 in uh, credit at the uh, at the restaurant. Um, I've been calling it a tab, but really what I mean is credit. Um, thank you much. See you next week.